Mishmis. The Mishmi tribe inhabit in the eastern part of Arunachal Pradesh, India. Total population is 58,027. Total area of Lohit and Anjou is 8,592 km square. Total circle headquarters are 11. Neighbor districts are Lower Divang Valley, Namsai, Upper Divang Valley, Changlang. Neighbor countries are China, Myanmar. Total village 8, Lohit district is 117. And 8, Anjou district is 306 villages till death. There are three different Mishmi group popularly known as Kaman, Tawa and Idu Mishmi. Presently, Kaman and Tawa are settled in Lohit and Anjou district. Idu Mishmi inhabited at both upper and lower Divang Valley district. Kaman and Tawa Mishmi believe in existence of God who is the creator of universe. They call it is as Amik Matai Rinyajo Malu, respectively in their local dialects. Marriage is a bond between men and a woman. Every community has its own system of solemnizing marriage. The Mishmi also have unique system of arranged marriage, love marriage, and remarriage. They usually call as Kuong Singa Me in Mishmi dialects. To start with, there are two types of mediator, that is Kfarekathai Kabeya, secret messenger and mediator between two families. Secret messenger will direct approach the bride without knowledge of her parents. This secret messenger is usually sent by groom or groom's parents. Role of Farai Kathai Kabeya Mediator. Farik Katai first visit the bride's family as a representative of groom's family. Mediator is mostly sent by groom's family to talk officially with the bride's family. Groom's family send a mediator, that is Farekate Kabeya, who is intelligent, trustworthy, well known, well accepted by the society, and well versed with the customary and traditional norm of the Mishmi community. 
During the next visit, discussion is held between the parents, relative of bride, and the mediator. This discussion over any discrepancies or dispute between the clans or if there are any unpleasant incidents by any of the family members, if things are smooth, then they finalize the term and conditions of the marriage. Yeah, <laughs> Mithuns or Gaels are gifted by the groom's family to the bride's family. The number is discussed and mutually accepted by both the parties. <laughs> Then comes the third visit of the mediator.
เบ่งบ่าเช่าตัวโยยหูไอ้ใช่ให้ลับเลือกปู่เยอะโซเช่าปลักกัดซาปู่นิ่มตีลาชะกะซาบายนิ่มตีลาชะเลยไม่ยัน
Mithuns or Gayals are gifted by the groom's family to the bride's family. The number is discussed and mutually accepted by both the parties. Then comes the third visit of the mediator. This time, groom brings the set numbers of Mithuns, some pigs, a basket of dry meat as a gift. One special big and healthy mithun is gifted by the grooms to the bride's family as a token of gratitude towards them for nurturing, loving and upbringing his new wife well. This mithun has a special name as Raktatam Rudi. The family members come together happily to celebrate the event. Other mitun will be given in the written basis according to their ability of bride's relatives. Role of the groom <laughs> It's so brum, say dum do. Rim ro brum, say dum do. It's so brum, say dum do. Rim ro brum, say dum do. Sha a shing ring, a shiring chan. How tearing. Shiring Chan Sa Ashing Ring Shiring Chan Hau Te Ring Shiring Chan Ka Adam Ning Awe Go Ka Ra Ning Awe Go Kin Long Sa Sam la ning kin man mai sam la pig and a basket of dry meat fish deer bird wild rotten etc and also a live pig it is mandatory to the groom to serve the bride's family in all the honorable ways possible till he fulfills all the mansion's demands. 
depending upon the situation or circumstances in both the families within a year or to a huge gathering of all the families and friends is organized. Groom have to help the bride's family as possible he can. Shahoga, Shahoga, Karaning Oe, eh, Shahoga, Shahoga, Mandu de Kinglad Lam, Pang Taiman, Pang Taiman, Dot de Kinglung Lam, Pang Taiman, Pang Taiman, To Omo Hayolim, Ning Yilang, Enyone, To Lomo Hayolim, Ning Lawi, Enyone. Can shot naked blood lamp, bang rumen, bang rumen, a top la naked long lamp, bang krelman, bang krelman, ring the num high on le, ning la we in your ne, pay a mo high on zo, ning la we in your ne, kin sata shiro yo, kin angu shiro yo, reads up like a Rim lo pla ka pa ne No tung chan pum man hai No sa ye, no sa ye Man no cha shu man hai Bro ma ye, be ma ye Pe ya dang ta chum ne Chum hom la, chum hom la Gra ya dang ta chum ne Chum hom la, chum hom la Shep ta ka chao ne ye Gong pi ka chao ne ye Jim tayu abo ho, me tayu abo ho, zau pa chan ka kro hai, yong sa ye, yong sa ye, ha lo chan ka kro hai, mai sa ye, mai sa ye, thadr ma dang nyo, ba a ni, ba a ni, mro thadr ma nam na, me ya ni. Procedure of the first day. The bridegroom comes to the bride's house with all his relatives, parents, and friends. He will have to bring all the food that is needed in the ceremony, that is, rotten pig, alive pig, local rice, dry fish, fried sesame, ginger, dry meat basket. <coughs> Hala it is a one of the kind of leaf where the food is eaten. The bride herself serves food and a prashad called chambai to her relatives. Once they consume this dish, it is said that they have accepted the marriage happily and given their consign and blessings to a newly married couple.
grooms, parents and grooms, relatives are strictly prohibited to have meat in bride's house and bride's relative's house. They are allowed to have fish, bird and wild rotten only. Selected fruit is given to groom and groom's family like banana, yams, etc. And very special treatment to groom and his party. Procedure of second day. Invitations. Tangmung Ameya of this marriage are already been circulated in advance but on the second day bride's parents make a visit to neighboring houses which are left behind bride's family takes the responsibility of serving the feast to the guests The special guests will be specially served by the bride's family. After the meal, the guests give a gift anzong tasum to bride and her parent. It may be cash or any kind. Bride's parents also give away some pleasantry like raw pork, tayum, kathau, dry meat, etc. to the living guests. Procedure of Third day, give to the bridegroom's parents by the bride's parents according to as much they can. The gift may be sword, cash, brass scrap, copper whistle, traditional ornaments, taiyung, maisong, tai bra, etc. Gather the bridegroom's family and the bride's family and special guests that is mediator. The final decision is to send the bride to the groom's house securely and the bride and groom bond in bondage for the lifetime. It is an agreement by the bride's family that if the bride does anything in the future, then she will not be hurt much. If any error are found by the bride, then the groom's parents and the parents of the bridegroom together will find him in law house. That is traditional customary norms. If anything happened to the bride before completing the marriage system by accidentally, knowingly domestic violence, then it is punishable as per traditional customary norms. The final decision. The groom and the bride will continue to go to the bride's house even after the bride and groom are bound in bondage. The bride's relative and parents are able to meet the groom's house whenever they want. If there is a problem, in the groom's house, then the bride's relative and her parents can come and help them. 
and it is same for the bride's situation. There will be no reason to cheat but do not betray each other.